The Salt Lake Chamber of Commerce now teaming up with the Utah Department of Health to issue what they're calling seals of approval to businesses all around the state that promise to take COVID-19 safety precautions seriously. The goal is to make customers feel more confident, even though the program will not be regulated. Fox 13's Adam Herbetz is live in downtown Salt Lake to show us how it works. Adam. Yeah, Bob Kelly, if you would like to get that seal of approval, all you have to do is take the pledge online to take safety precautions related to COVID-19 seriously. And even though it looks official and it looks regulated with the Utah Department of Health logo right there at the bottom, it's based almost entirely on the honor system. Businesses across downtown are signing up. Thank you. Signing up for the latest seal of approval they can post on their storefront to show off what they're doing to protect employees and customers. That if we follow these health guidelines, we'll be able to keep our economy going. The program is called Stay Safe to Stay Open. It's free for any business in Utah, and it's a promise to follow common sense guidelines to stop the spread of COVID-19. Well, these are all things that businesses have been hearing about for a long time. I think it's a good thing. I wish that it were uh, going to be a little bit more enforced. This man runs a small business downtown, these days mostly selling masks. He says he was disappointed to learn those who do not require customers to cover their face are still <laughs> eligible for a seal of approval, including businesses in Salt Lake County and Summit County. The initiative does not speak to the customer or what the customer has to do. That really is for the business to decide. So they have all these great procedures, but then they're not requiring their customers to wear masks. So that I feel like that just negates the entire process. And what was the point? Not having masks on it feels like missing the most important step. He says he will probably still apply for the program, but he wants people to know he's holding his store to a safer standard. I think it could be a valuable marketing tool and uh, hopefully it's not taken advantage of. So the seal could be revoked if there is a, you know, a bad business out there. It's on the honor system, but if consumers have questions or even if they have complaints, they've got a point of contact to talk to. If it ever, heaven forbid, gets more serious than that, they always have their local health department that they could contact. So if you are a business owner who would like to take the pledge, all you have to do is go online to stayopenutah.com. That's where you'll also find a list of other businesses that have signed up. It is still important to note, though, even though this is to give people more confidence as they're going to a store, to any restaurant, anything like that, this sign, this seal of approval, should not carry the same weight as the grade from the county health department. For Live Downtown, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.